Hi, and welcome to Office uh, 2013 uh, installation on App V. Uh, the first thing you need to do is to download uh, the Office 2013 App V package. You can go to uh, the website bing.com and type in Office 2013 uh, App V download click on enter then the first page uh, will be displayed then you have these files so there are three files that you need to download before you begin and it's the uh, app v uh, file which is 1.1 uh, gigabyte for 64 bit version of office 2013 then you have the deployment uh, config dot xml uh, that's 3.2 megabytes for 64 and the uh, user config dot xml for the 64 bits which is uh, about 3 megabytes for 32 bit uh, you need to download these files it's basically the same but ends here with x86 so let's check how, how it is I have uh, created two directories here under the uh, under the, uh, the content directory and copied these three files to that directory you can see that I have x64 and x64 here the three files and under 86 is these three files. So let's start by configuring the uh, Windows 8 client for deployment and uh, we need to configure the uh, PowerShell. So let's start. You start by uh, enabling uh, uh, app v scripting uh, what you need to do uh, before you deploy office 2013 uh, I'm on a client here now Windows 8 machine and uh, I'm going to PowerShell and I'm going to run it as administrator left click right click and uh, run as administrator um, the app v client is already installed so I'm just going to uh, start by uh, set the execution policy so it's like this set execution policy bypass scope current user and then you type in yes sir and enter then you need to uh, import the module import uh, module you can uh, click on tab on the keyboard that's why it's so fast uh, then you type in app v client and it's uh, imported uh, now you need to set the enable the package scripts so you can type in set app v client configuration enable package scripts and uh, type in one and enter then your uh, windows 8 client is ready to uh, receive uh, office 2030 uh, now if you want to deploy the uh, Office uh, 2013 uh, you can do this by uh, doing it both from the client itself or by publishing it from the management console the app management console I'm just going to show you how to uh, publish or uh, import the, the uh, 
the client here. Let me see. To this uh, Windows 8 machine. So it's like this. You type in the variable. It's dollar sign pkg at uh, app v client package. Then you type in the path. SRV and using the English keyboard time not used it uh, you regularly use the Icelandic keyboard so it's a little bit confusing okay that's the uh, shear uh, the server the shear uh, and the path uh, don't think you can type in the use the tab key there so I have the have the name here you can see it's a pretty long name and then you click on OK uh, there's something wrong here <coughs> let me see okay sorry there need the I have two versions of of the uh, office both 64 and and 32 bit so I need this one here and I click on enter it will uh, set the variable here and it will take a few moments Um, okay, it's done. Now you need to publish the app v package. Uh, there are two ways to do that. Uh, it's the user mode and it's the global mode. The user mode is basically uh, the package installs on the user profile instead of the a shared uh, directory on the computer. So just like this, uh, type in the variable. Uh, start by typing the publish app v client package, the variable, uh, and then you, if you're going to use uh, the user mode, then you just type in enter. But then, if you're going to use the, the global mode, uh, you type in global. When this uh, parameter is uh, set, then uh, it uh, takes less space if many users are logging on to this machine. So, just going to click on enter here and wait a uh, few moments. Okay, the package uh, package has been installed here. Uh, so we can go to the start menu here. We can see that. Uh, we have Word, Link, Publisher, OneNote, Excel, just etc. So let's start uh, by clicking on Word 2013. And while it's starting, uh, let's go to Microsoft Application Virtualization Client there and see how the package is loaded here. You can see it's starting. And we see that the package is uh, downloading and it's working here. And we have the uh, Word 2013 preview here. We need to accept the license agreement. And then we can start by creating some documents here. Okay, that's awesome. Um, 
now let's go to the uh, management console or we should start by removing the client and then we should go to the management console and inst install the office oh, from the app v uh, management console okay that is here then we do uh, you know, get the client oh sorry client package you can see that uh, we have one package here then we do remove amp v client package and we need to set the package ID so I just copy this line here and paste it and the version ID and paste it mm. Okay, we need to stop this. Stop download. Is it in use? Mm. Okay, let me see here. More details. Okay, it's running here, so we need to stop it. Stop the this here okay, okay it's not in use so we can do it again um, set the package ID and the version ID then we can see it's it will be removed you can check here application virtualization client here to double check if the package has been removed it was, this will take a few moments so I will pause here for a moment okay uh, now we see there is uh, no packages here so and the there is nothing in the start menu so let's go to the uh, App Management Console and deploy the Office 2013 from uh, from the console. So I'm here at the Management Console and I'm going to import the uh, Office uh, 2013 to the to the server. So I have here the server name and the share and the path to the office so we select the file that end with, ends with the dot appv click on open and add this will take also a few moments okay it's finished so we have the office 2013 uh, it's unpublished uh, and there is no access to it so we need to add the group that has uh, access to this uh, application uh, it's uh, appv admins at appv.local check then we have the group Grant access, close, and then we publish it. Let's go to the client and check if this works. Okay, we have the client here. Um, let's see if something happens. I'm going to start the PowerShell and as administrator and I'm going to uh, uh, the set the uh, global refresh rate refresh enabled and on the app v publishing server so I just do import 
module uh, mv client and set we can check something here mv publishing server we can see that the, the global refresh is uh, enabled uh, is false and global refresh, refresh on logon is uh, is also false so we're going to change uh, these two lines here so we do set at the uh, publishing server uh, global refresh enabled is one the server ID is this one here and we do the same with uh, global refresh on lo logon to uh, one and the server ID so we have the global refresh enabled to true and global refresh on logon to true so we can sync up the publishing server and type in one let's see what happens here nothing happening I need to deep that debug this and I will get back to you in a few, mo few moments okay I found out what was wrong here I needed to add the client or, or the computer to the uh, the group what I did was actually I created a new group here called AppV client and uh, added the client here to this to this group restarted the computer uh, went to the uh, uh, AppV management console added the AppV clients and now I have the uh, now I have the uh, Microsoft Office 2013. You can see it here. So it's just started here. Maybe download or something like that. Now, <coughs> so this is uh, how you can deploy uh, Office uh, 2013. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.